One of the most helpful features of SwiftUI are stacks. With them, you can create a custom view arranging subviews according to the X, Y, or Z axis. But do you know there exists a maximum amount of subviews that a stack supports? In this example, we are creating a B stack with 10 subviews to display multiple colors in the screen. 10 is actually the maximum limit of subviews supported by any stack. And if we add one more subview, Xcode will complain about it. The error says extra argument in the call. Sounds weird and not very descriptive. Let's find out the reason. It turns out that SwiftUI is just a DSL or domain specific language to implement views much easier for developers. But under the hood, it applies all the rules that Swift language supports. In fact, if we navigate through the documentation, we will see that BStack is just a struct with one initializer and three parameters. One of them is content that is decorated with a view builder attribute, and with it, you can create views directly from this closure. If we navigate even further, we can see that view builder is also a struct that is implemented as a result builder. And this result builder provides a series of static functions called build block to build the view. How this actually works? View builder receives the subviews from the initializer and under the hood is transforming it into a series of steps to return a single object containing the final view. That means that each view in the view builder will be converted in a parameter for a build block method. But if you remember, view is a protocol with associated types. They need to be declared as generic constraints. That means we cannot create a single function with a variadic parameter. In other words, a function that accepts n numbers of parameters. This situation requires to create multiple versions of the same build block function to support different quantity of views. Apple decided to support from 1 to 10 subviews in the same stack. Actually, this is the build block function that supports the max limit of subviews. If we go back to the build block example, you can see clearly that adding one extra argument that is not supported will produce an error. Now, how can we fix this issue? Pretty simple, we just need to wrap some of the subviews in another stack. Voila, the issue is gone. Now the first beer stack only contains two subviews, the nested B stack, and both of them contain five subviews respectively. You can see this limitation as an opportunity to always keep your stacks as small as possible. If you follow the composition approach to build your views, you won't face this problem in your project. My name is Pete, and this, this is Ifan Tips. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.